Hello there and welcome to a short behind the scenes video of all the complete crew and scorched earth stuff. It's quite often I get comments on how we did things and obviously completing a whole DLC and cutting a video down to under 50 minutes means we skip a lot of game time. Before we left the map I asked tribe mate Romeo to show us around the base and go over some of the details we did and we kick things off by showing some detailing that Shazella did. I like the attention to detail that she does with these seats. Yeah, I was so back. surprised that you could actually do this. And when she showed me how she did it, it was like really cool. It really is, isn't it? So it's a combination of the trophy stands, two of them, two gravestones onto the benches. And it just adds a different type of chair. I mean, it really looks cool. Pretty much. I mean, she has another chair on the side here. If I can get that on it. Yeah. But there's Great. like... There's the chair that side, the chair this side, and then like a bench chair in the middle just to give it the side looking effects. She always does detailing really well. I mean, even on these tables, she's gone to the extent of putting more pestles and jars mm -hmm. and just things that make it look a little bit more like a, a complete like a crew yeah. eating thing. In fact, we have. We have eaten some of Chonk's sandwiches here. Um, yep, I put have. a load of <laughs> pitches up here starting to get quite a few pictures on the camera actually as we're progressing all right room. well show us around Di oh yeah you got moved into shiny's room didn't you <laughs> yeah you i two... got press scanned into shiny's room okay so you two are bunking together pretty much it did yeah. end up pink Separate at bits. one point you went overboard with <laughs> pink but we because it went onto the outside of the building so yeah better. shiny did all the uh, decorations here? in here now did shiny make an adjustment uh yeah she kind of did she made uh <laughs> So we can have a balcony. <laughs> How, yeah, she she knows she had to. The last one she did, she had to put plumbing in. I'm surprised yeah. she hasn't done that this time. Um, yeah, I think she just thought it was too much work and she didn't want to <laughs> mess too much up. Yeah, so. yeah. She didn't want to have to walk all the way from the middle of the desert to get a pipe Pretty up to much, her bedroom, yeah. basically. So, <laughs> Chonk's room. Again, he's gone. Pay he's, everybody's gone to more effort than me. Look, he's got wall <laughs> posters up. On he's got the map on the wall painted his desk this is his secret brewery <laughs> <laughs> his ah oh dear it's, there's his bootleg brew. his bootleg brew <laughs> we've had a few of those room of marley room of marley marley yeah he hasn't done nothing he's got one jaboa that looks almost dead because <laughs> it hasn't been fed yeah. uh poor little Poor little thing. But he hasn't made any effort to decorate his room. We'll have to have words about that. Like, just say, come Definitely. on, personalise your stuff. Or next next time, when we get on Aberration, we'll have to come in and start leaving stuff in his room. Blue, again, he dropped in when he can. I have no idea what's this about, mate. What is Why this is about? Why is in his room? Why has he got a green kangaroo in his room? Oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. These youths. Blue gets a free pass because he's blue. <laughs> he's sort of part of the furniture. Oh, look at this one. Shez's gangstasaurus room. She's got she's got her own picture. Oh, mate, look at this. I know, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, what? I never I never do this stuff to you. I'm going to start doing it I on don't, the, no. the other server. I'm going to... I love the um, taxidermy stuff. I always forget. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't... I mean, Shez has shown me a lot of secrets that you can do with, like, the taxidermy events, so... I'm going to try and implement them in some of my builds and my bases and stuff. I think so, definitely. yeah. I mean, she's definitely ta taught me a few things about detailing. And um, so, mm -hmm. me and Vex, we got to have penthouses this time. Because we're just, like, hey, special you... people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't been up to the penthouse yet. I've just been... Well, it, it's actually, I, it's, been, it's been really nice, actually, being around here. I put my shield up and my picture on the wall. Oh, very nice. I've got... A phoenix statue nice. here. Oh, the, on the taxidermy it actually flames as well. Yeah, it's got some cool poses. I had no idea it flamed like that uh, with a taxidermy. But yeah, Vex showed me that. So, so you ain't killed my phoenix, have you? Because it took me... How long did we camp that out? I don't know. Oh, good four, five, maybe even eight hours. <laughs> we completed Ark in well under a hundred days, but it almost... We, mu we must have camped out there for 80 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, look, there's a ridiculous amount of length went to get the phoenix. Bex's room, 
again, she's not really done much. I have no idea why she's left her Pegamastics here because that was her first tame. I was gonna say and she loves she like thing. tamed one and then it died and then she tamed another one. I know she's then, always leaving them behind, she's always but taming she, them. you know, she's her favorite. So I mean, that's gotta yeah. come. We gotta take this keep that for her. Make sure that comes. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Ah sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Absolutely. If we get if we get a weather event, we'll have to come in here. But Chonk and me, yep. we also got bored while we was breeding and mutating, and then this went a little bit old of overboard. They're still breeding now, mate. <laughs> We've got infestation of these. Yeah. The uh, the colours have just the, gone the insane. The colours in here are amazing, though. Um, but yeah, there's a whole room dedicated to breeding these things, and they're still breeding every colour you could think imaginable. Um. But when it when it's have you been in there when it the weather comes in? Yes, it's uh, it's very very loud. <laughs> well, this is the Rex breeding area. We never got to use these Rexes. It came from the base Rex that we found on day one on Scorched Earth. Uh, had amazing stats to begin with that Rex, and we we didn't think we'd find another one, but we did, and. More than anything, they've been used to level. Yeah. Up that's, wide um, That's yeah. That's that's the regret I have. I really wish we could have used these rexes for like um, the boss fight, but honestly, they ended up being farmed for XP at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, but we still were stacking mutations on with our mail up top. So how do you get them to hang down like this? <laughs> you know, with great great difficulty, but. Basically what you do is you build up your walls where you want them, make sure it's an empty section, and then you put um, ceiling roofs all along the top. That's where you put your X's. Mm -hmm. And then you go up another two or three high on the side walls, yeah. and then you put another ceiling on top for your male to stand on. And then once you've got all your females in line and where you want them, you start removing the ceiling of the um, of what they're standing on, and then they end up floating. How do you get them so straight? That's the thing. I mean, they've just got the horrible yeah. turning radius, so this must just take ages to line them up like this. Oh, it took me a whole day to get all those rexes up there. But has it been worth it? A hundred percent, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, in terms of organisation, they just drop down. The eggs drop down. Yeah. And it felt like so. I mean. To have them set up in this manner, this is just this is just a farming method, but this is this is literally industrial farming right here, and uh, they just sit so so nicely. So you had them all lined up before you removed the the walls, yeah. basically. So I had them all lined up and then just removed the walls, and they they sort of go inwards and then ass up. Yeah, yeah. So I tried it many different ways, and this was the best way I found. Uh, with the space I had so it didn't get in the way of each other. The same with the Wyverns. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, again, just really, really well organized. The male on top. Yep. Same principle here as well. I just had to make it bigger. Basically, Shiny set up our drop-off point, which she did a great job on. He um, has done an here. amazing job on this workshop area. It's so efficient. Mm-hmm. Really is. So on the outside here, we've got all the coloured coded drop-off points. Mm-hmm. Um, the end one being miscellaneous for those people too lazy to actually put the wood <laughs> in the wood box. I, I, I love the this? whole thing she's done here as well. Mm -hmm. With the door, so you could just park your anchor here, dump all the metal and yep. straight into the forge. From the forge, you can put it into here. From here, you can put it into this bench, to that, the bench. Very, very, very efficient. Very. Um, set up with all of these vaults. And I think the key to it is these vaults outside for everybody. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it just really makes just it so makes... much easier. You don't have to worry about dragging it all in. You could just dump it on the floor, mm -hmm. whip it up and put it in the correspondent vaults. Um, but yeah, top job on this one from Shiny. I think it was better than the last one because it was just, everything was just closer. 
Just um, in when it comes to this area of drop off resources and sort out yeah. and all of that, when you don't have the S plus mod with a gun, yeah, exactly, this is the yeah. most comfortable way to have it set. Exactly, and you got everything on hand. Mm -hmm. The Hall of Heroes. That's it. Or the Hall of the Fallen. The Hall of the Fallen. <laughs> <laughs> the Ascension Hall. We don't get That's an Ascension on Scorched, but Chonk. I mean, he's gone to a great. He's displaying all, displaying all the trophies that we've got. Just sat around the outside here. We got the Manticore trophies, Alpha, Gamma, Beta, and we've also got just above flag the Alpha Deathworm trophy, which you and Shiny both got Deathworms. We did, yeah. So you were the only two to manage to get the so. Death, Deathworms. Would have been nice to see more. It's the same build that he did on the uh, the island map. But... It is, yeah. I think he said he's improved the design a little bit, so it makes it more... Yeah, just showing nice off it. the Manticore armor. You're the only one who's got the full skin set. Mm -hmm. And shiny. Who doesn't like wearing decided. pants. <laughs> 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 yeah, I have no idea why she's not wearing pants, but we don't question these things. There's Chonk, Chonk <laughs> and his boomerang there. But yeah, I like he this. Does. I like this place. Everybody's gone and painted the shields and stuff here. It's really cool. Mm. And it's I like cool. how you've um, painted your uh, your flag over here. I know. Didn't even know you didn't could do that. Didn't you can do that. It was an accident. I didn't realise you could paint flags, but that's going to go in my guide for things you didn't know about Ark. That's cool. <laughs> it's that it's one cool. of them. I've got like about 20 or 30 written down, so I'm going to put a video together. Um... And but yeah. Vex has actually got clothes on this time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Me and Vex have both got the Manticore display and the shield. Nice. The last thing we didn't go over was the greenhouse. And again, I get to it too late because it's all stopped growing and the beehives yeah. are gone. But again, it's another really nice greenhouse. It is. I mean, Shez did a hell of a good job on this. Yeah. She's organised it all nicely. We had all the beehives here. Yeah. Massive row of them. Yeah, it all looked great. Fertilisers outside, dung beetles. It was all working sweet, but I got too, rat too late when it came to getting the footage of it. And all of the plumbing is done unmodded, so she's done a good mm -hmm. job of hiding the pipes as she the has. best that she can. Especially when it considered, uh, yeah, the nearest water source is quite a way away from us, and these water wells don't work in terms of loads and loads of water, do they? Yeah, I mean they only got like um, a thousand more, and then yeah. especially if you're doing them for greenhouses, you eat through that really fast. Dead. Which is a shame. Behind everything else, there was Ovis on the map. Yeah, we got lucky with those. And that's about it. But some really nice builds. I really like the actual main build this time. Um, I particularly like the penthouses. <laughs> yeah. So the penthouses are nice, I must admit. A big thanks to Romeo for helping me go over some stuff there and for all the support you've been showing on the 100 Day Stuff. We will, of course, continue in the new year with Aberration. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.